The way to fix a problem is to make it worse. It truly is. The uh, authorities in Victoria are certainly convinced of that. Taxi vlog 102. Yes, I had a good vacation. This uh, is my fourth night back after being away for two and a half weeks, away from work for two and a half weeks anyhow. And um, it was good. I recommend vacations very much. I wish I was still on one. What happened, it's Sunday night by the way, what happened last night, Saturday night, just before two, I was sent to a, a bar. So I went to the bar and I picked up these idiots and they were loud and obnoxious and drunk, uh, naturally. Not exactly the clientele I prefer. But uh, first they wanted to go one place and then, no, they didn't want to go there. Then they wanted to go somewhere else and no, they didn't want to go there. Then they wanted to go somewhere else again. No, they didn't want to go there. So I was always making mid-course corrections on the way. And um, there. Um, and so finally we got them to where they were going to. And instead of them just paying me, no, they wanted to use, one wanted to use a visa, another one wanted to use Interac, and another wanted to use Interac. It's four people, it's a $15 fare, but they all want to pay separately using debit cards and credit cards. What a fucking bunch of bullshit and a waste of time. Anyway, I was just shaking my head going, no, 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 this can't be, this can't be, this can't be. And you know, things happen to fuel themselves. Uh, situations seem to build on top of situations that were already fucked up. Uh, it's some kind of law of attraction or something. And so what happened was, I was just a couple blocks away from downtown, and it was just after two, so the bars had let out. So I figured, eh, I guess I'll get a fare quickly if I drive those two blocks and pick up somebody waving at me. Now, I drove two blocks, and there was a police car there, and the sidewalk was overflowing with people. The people were throwing themselves in front of my cab. Well, naturally, the people who throw themselves in front of my cab, I duck and evade them and go away and avoid them. I don't want them. I don't want these people in my car. So anyway, I turned the corner, and there on the overflowing sidewalk, some guy's waving at me. Okay, and he looks like he's not going to be a problem. He's not throwing himself under my front bumper, so I pick him up. I happened to have my window open at the time, and some guy wearing a yellow vest is yelling at me, You should know better! You should know better! You should know better! Oh, fuck, get me out of here. So I peel out with the customer in the back, and we get out of there, but we can't go very far because on the next corner is a red light. So we stop at the red light. We wait for the light to change. The light changes and I'm trying to make my turn but I can't because some guys are in the middle of an, the intersection uh, walking from one corner to the other where I want to turn and of course naturally they're halfway across the street and they stop there and they go to me you know fuck what is up with that anyways I get past these idiots and next thing I know, there's blue and red flashing lights in my rear view mirror. Well, actually not my rear view mirror, my side view mirrors, because I can't see out the back. This thing is all black. See, look, all black, right? You can't see a damn thing out there. Okay. And on my right side, somebody's tapping on my window. It's some policewoman. Okay, so I roll the window down, and then she's pointing to the other side tapping on the other side there's another policewoman with of course a chip on her shoulder what else why do you become a policewoman because you've got a chip on your shoulder and you want to push guys around just a theory of mine you're welcome to disagree with me if you want but some stereotypes sometimes fit so she's saying you're driving like an idiot, you, you, you peel your tires out, yeah, well some asshole was yelling at me, but I didn't say that. And uh, you almost hit two pedestrians, and you're driving like a maniac, and you're being an idiot. And I felt like saying, listen, mama, fuck you. I'm trying to do a job here. 
And I say, all I know is I pick up this guy and then some guy wearing a yellow vest is yelling at me. I get out of there because I don't want no guy with it wearing a yellow vest yelling at me. So I leave. And now I'm being stopped and detained. What for? I don't know. She says, you should know the rules. What rules? Well, downtown, you're not allowed to pick up anybody waving except in a designated pickup zone. How the hell is a designated pickup zone going to make any kind of improvement on anything if none of the public knows about it and they just wave at me? You know, instead of... Anyway, she detained me for about 10 minutes. She wanted to see my driver license. She wanted to see my chief's permit. And she's lecturing me that I should know better what the rules are downtown. I said, look it, lady. I don't even work downtown for the most part. I just happened to be two blocks away, and I thought I'd get a fare quickly. What? What have I done wrong? You're going to give me a ticket for picking up a fare? Well, she held on to my stuff for about five minutes, and then she came back and said, well, you know what, you're kind of upset. I said, yeah, wouldn't you be under my circumstances? You stop me for nothing? You waste my time? Wouldn't you be upset? Well, sir, I can't give you back your license until you take three good breaths and relax and calm down. Fuck, man. I felt like just swatting her because she was being such a twat. Anyways... How are they going to get rid of the crowd? How are they going to control the crowd if they don't let cabs pick it up? I don't understand that part. It makes no sense to me. It's making things worse rather than making them better. I'll be fucked over three times. I hate working downtown. I refuse to go down there any time now because all I get is grief. Taxi Vlog 102. Have yourself a better night than the one I had last night.